The Ohos Adventure Balance is a precision weight instrument that will provide you with years of service if properly cared for. Not only does it have impeccable accuracy, but it has many useful applications such as percent weighing, dynamic weighing, and pill counting. In addition to this video playlist, you can also download additional instructions by clicking on the link below. To begin, let's discuss some of the basics of the unit, starting with unpacking and inventory. Before we begin, let's take a moment to discuss caring for the balance. The internal mechanisms are extremely sensitive, so make sure you take great care removing the device from the box. Make sure you have the following components. Balance, power adapter, wind ring, warranty card, and software CD. Make sure the scale is placed in an area that doesn't have excessive vibrations, heat sources, air current, or rapid temperature changes. Also allow sufficient space around the balance to make it easier to work with. Before you begin to run any application, you will need to make sure the balance is level and calibrated. The Adventure has a level bubble and a small round window beside the display. Adjust the four leveling feet until the bubble is centered in the circle. A level assist function is available to help you level the balance. There are two ways to access the function. Weighing application, item settings, level assist, or main menu, balance setup, user settings, and level assist. The level assist function is just a graphic, but it is still a useful reference. Be sure the equipment is level each time its location is changed. Here is some basic information regarding calibration. When the balance is first installed and when it is moved to another location, it must be calibrated to ensure accurate weighing results. Most adventure balances have a built-in auto cal, which can calibrate the balance automatically and does not require calibration masses. AutoCal is a fully automatic internal calibration system that assists with routine maintenance by automatically calibrating the balance daily and is available on most models. It automatically calibrates the system when it senses a temperature change sufficient enough to affect weighing accuracy, which is greater than 1.5 degrees Celsius or every 11 hours. When it comes to external calibration, select precision models feature traditional external calibration in which external weights are used to calibrate the balance to ensure accuracy. We will discuss this later. You will find multiple ports on the Adventure Balance. On the back, notice there is a USB and RS-232 connection. The USB connection is used to connect a PC only. The RS-232 connection is used to connect a PC or printer. On the front, you will find another USB port. This port is used to connect a flash drive only. For configurations and interface commands, see the Communications menu settings section. For connecting, configuring, and testing the printer and computer interface, and for sample print output formats, see the Printing section. This balance utilizes a touch-sensitive display with touch areas and buttons to control the equipment's functions. For the power button, a short press turns on the scale. A long press turns the scale off. The print button prints the present data to a printer or a computer. The zero button performs a zero operation. The cow button performs the calibration operations. The tear button performs the tear operation. Again, the balance screen also has touch areas. Let's take a moment and review the active application screen. Starting in the upper left, you will see the name of the active application. If you press it, a menu appears allowing you to choose the application to use. Below that is room for instruction messages to appear, otherwise the line is blank. Further below, you may see an asterisk, which indicates the weight is balanced. 
Just below that, you may see the number zero between a greater and less than sign to show that the balance has been zeroed. Moving to the upper right, you will see the weight capacity and readability. In the middle is the main display line, such as the weight amount. The information varies by the application being used. If you run an application, such as Way, and you see a unit of measure, such as G, you can press on the letter to change to the unit you wish to use. Below that are the reference fields. The data in this area varies, but includes data such as gross, tear, various weight totals, weight limits, etc. Along the bottom are application buttons, which vary depending on the application being used. The most common is the item settings button, which allows the user to configure the active application. The balance can be configured to operate in various application modes. When you touch the application name in the upper left corner of the screen, you will be presented with a list of applications to choose from. Weighing, parts counting, percent weighing, dynamic weighing, density determination, check weighing, display hold, totalization, and formulation. In this video, we will cover most of these applications except for density determination. Please consult the user manual for using this application. All menu navigation is performed by touching the display. The main menu is used to set up and configure the balance. From any application screen, touch the menu in the lower right corner of the display. The main menu options will now appear. Select the option you wish to configure or set up. Once you select an option, a submenu may appear. Continue selecting the menu items until the desired setting is chosen in the menu list. Touch the setting to change it. The change setting will be displayed as highlighted yellow for about one second to confirm the changed value. After the setting is confirmed, touch exit to return to the application or you can press back to go back to the previous menu list. The Adventure Balance main menu structure is illustrated with the following options. Calibration, touch to view calibration options. Balance setup, touch to view and change balance settings. Weighing units, touch to view and change weight units. Data maintenance, used to do routines such as import and export scale information from a USB device. Communication, Touch to view communication device and print settings. GLP and GMP data. To insert user data for traceability. Factory reset. Do a factory reset of the menu settings. Lockout. Touch to view lockout options. Adventure balances in CAL models offer a choice of six calibration methods. Internal calibration, automatic calibration, autocal adjustment, span calibration, linearity calibration, and cal test calibration. Internal calibration is accomplished with the internal calibration mass. Internal calibration can be performed at any time provided the balance has been warmed up to operating temperature and is level. With no load on the pan, Touch internal calibration. The display shows the status, then returns to the current application. You can cancel at any time by pressing the cancel button. You will want to take note on that when approved mode is on. Auto cal internal calibration is forced to on and hidden. Internal calibration and calibration test functions are available. All other functions are hidden. We will discuss more about Approved Mode in another chapter. When Automatic Calibration is set to ON, the balance performs a self-calibration when it senses a temperature change of 1.5 degrees Celsius or every 11 hours. AutoCal will automatically calibrate the balance using the internal mass 
Each time there is a change in temperature significant enough to affect accuracy every 11 hours. The information screen will appear when an automatic calibration is about to start. Three option buttons will be displayed. Calibrate now. Press to perform the calibration directly. Five minutes. Press to perform the calibration after five minutes. Or deactivate. Press to deactivate the automatic calibration function. Use the AutoCal Adjustment Calibration method to adjust the span calibration point without affecting the span or linearity calibration. Calibration adjustment may be used to adjust the result of the internal calibration by 100 divisions. Note, before making a calibration adjustment, perform an internal calibration. To verify whether an adjustment is needed, Place a test mass equal to the span calibration value on the pan and note the difference in divisions between the normal mass value and the actual balance reading. If the difference is within plus one division, calibration adjustment is not required. If the difference exceeds plus one division, calibration adjustment is recommended. To perform a calibration adjustment, touch AutoCal Adjustment from the calibration menu. Enter the value, positive or negative divisions, to match the difference noted earlier in the procedure. Recalibrate using internal calibration. After calibration, place the test mass on the pan and verify that the mass value now matches the displayed value. If not, repeat the procedure until internal calibration reading agrees with the test mass. Once completed, the balance stores the adjustment value and the display returns to the current application. Enter the Balance Setup menu to customize the balance functionality. There are eight choices to choose from. Language, User Settings, Filter Level, Auto Zero Tracking, Auto Tear, Graduations, Date and Time, and Approved Mode. You can set the language displayed for menus and displayed messages. Languages include English, German, French, Spanish, Italian, Polish, Turkish, Czech, and Hungarian. Use the User Settings submenu to change the settings for Touch Calibrate, Screen Brightness, Beep, Auto Dim, and Level Assist. The Touch Calibrate allows you to calibrate the touchscreen by pressing various areas of the screen. The Screen Brightness will allow you to select Low, Medium, or High Brightness levels. Beep will allow you to turn the response beeps on or off. Auto Dim will allow you to adjust when to dim the brightness of the screen. You can either turn off or select 10, 20, or 30 minutes. Level Assist is a still graphic that references the position of the level bubble and what direction to turn the balance feet to level the unit. The filter level is used to set the amount of signal filtering. Low is a faster stabilization time with less stability. Medium is the default setting and has normal stabilization time with normal stability. High has slower stabilization time with more stability. The auto zero tracking is used to set the automatic zero tracking functionality. Off is disabled. A 0.5 division, the display maintains zero up to a drift of 0.5 graduation per second. A 1 division, the display maintains zero up to a drift of 1 graduation per second. And a 3 division is the display maintains zero up to a drift of 3 graduations per second. Auto tear is used to turn the auto tear feature on or off. If enabled, instructions to place container on the pan will be displayed when an automatic tear is about to start.
If you wish to stop the auto tear from performing, a deactivate button is displayed underneath the text. Press this button to deactivate the auto tear function. The graduations option is used to set the displayed readability of the balance. 10 divisions equals readability is increased by a factor of 10. One division equals standard readability. In this example, the balance is set to one division and the result is 0.219. When changed to 10 division, the result now reads 0.22. When changing the date and time, select the option you wish to change, date or time. I'll start with date. You can change the date format if desired by repeatedly pressing the format key. Next, touch the field you wish to change. I'll start with the month, then the clear button. With the box cleared, next type the value you wish to enter. When finished, you can then touch the next field that needs to be changed. Finally, I am going to just re-enter the same year so that you can watch me enter a four-digit value. Now, with all of the fields updated, I can simply touch Save. Changing the time is very similar to changing the date, except the fields change to time settings. Simply touch the field you wish to change, touch Clear, then enter the new value. When finished, click on the next field, then enter its value. After completing your updates, touch Save to finish. Before we discuss the approved mode, I would like you to know that this is a very detailed chapter. So unless you have interest in learning more about the approved mode right now, I encourage you to skip this chapter and select another. The approved mode is used to set the legal for trade status. When set to off, the balance is in standard operation. When on, the operation complies with legal metrology regulations. When the approved mode is set to on, the menu settings are affected as follows. The calibration menu, the balance setup menu, the communication menu, print and auto print, data maintenance, and lockout menu. The security switch located at the rear of the balance must be in the lock position to set approved mode to on. The security switch must be in the unlocked position to set approved mode to off. When the approved mode is on, you will notice the following changes. In the calibration menu, AutoCal internal calibration is for to on and hidden. Internal calibration and calibration test functions are available. All other functions are hidden. In the Balance Setup menu, the filter level is locked at the current setting. Auto Zero Tracking is limited to 0.5 division and off. The selected setting is locked. Auto Tear is locked at the current setting. And Graduations is forced to one division and the menu item is hidden. Communication menu, the Communications, Print Settings, Print Output, Stable weight only is locked to on, and numeric value only is locked to off. In the communications menu, communication, print settings, auto print, auto print mode selections are limited to off, on stability, and interval. Continuous is not available. In the data maintenance menu, export to USB is hidden, and import from USB is hidden. In the lockout menu, the menu is hidden. Enter the weighing unit submenu to activate the desired units of measure. Remember, this menu can also be accessed by pressing the unit symbol in an application home screen. Use the weighing application to determine the weight of items in the selected unit of measure. Begin by selecting Weighing in the Applications menu. This can be accessed by pressing the tab in the upper left corner of the screen. Make sure the balance is level and calibrated.
If there is nothing on the pan but the balance is showing a result other than zero, press the zero key. If using a weighing container, place the empty container on the pan then press tear, if not configured to auto tear. Place objects directly on the pan or use the weight container. An asterisk will appear when the weight is stable. The result will appear on the display. When weighing, counting parts, or percent weighing, you have the option to name your sample. Simply press the sample name button at the bottom of the screen and use the keypad to type in a name and then press the Save button when complete. When using the same applications plus dynamic weighing, you have the option to save the data to a USB drive. In order to do this, the device needs to be unlocked, or you have to have user access. Just simply plug a USB drive into the front of the device and the Save to USB button will appear. When you press the button, the data will automatically save to the drive. When complete, the button will momentarily change to an orange color. You can then remove the drive and plug the drive into another device that is capable of reading text. More information about saving data to a USB device can be found in the instruction book download. When you press the item settings button, the settings screen appears. If the weighing application is active, you will see seven options to choose from. These options provide more detailed weighing and scale options. When you press Item Settings and select Minimum Weight, use the keys to enter the desired minimum weight, then press Save. The display reverts to the previous screen. To return to the weighing home screen, touch Exit at the bottom of that screen. If an actual weight is below the established minimum weight value, it is flagged by a color change, yellow. When set to on, a capacity bar is displayed in the reference field. The capacity guide will show the current weight as a percentage of the balance capacity. If the capacity bar is set to off, the reference field will show minimum weight and sample name. There are additional item settings configurations, however you will find them elsewhere in this video or in the instruction manual. The parts counting application is used to count the number of pieces that are placed on the pan. Begin by pressing parts counting in the application menu. Again, this can be accessed by pressing the tab in the upper left corner of the screen. Make sure the balance is level and calibrated. If there is nothing on the pan but the balance is showing a result other than zero, press the zero key. If using a weighing container, place the empty container on the pan, then press tear, if the balance is not configured to auto tear. Remove the weight container and place a small sample of tablets in the weighing container. For this demonstration, I will place five in the container, then place back on the pan. Press the item settings button below the sample size button. Since I have 5 in the container, I am going to type in 5 on the keypad and press save. The weight of the sample will appear on the screen. Verifying the weight is stable. I have verified that the weight is stable, so I will press the accept button. The screen will now show 5 pieces instead of the weight. I will then remove the container once more and add additional tablets in the container. I should actually see the number of additional pieces that I added on the screen. When running the parts counting application on the balance, there may be times when you need to change the average piece weight. The easiest way is to place the canoe on the pan and then tear. Add a sample unit and press the APW button. Then press Accept. The display will then return to the Parts Counting Application home screen with the new APW value. When you press the Auto Optimization button and select On, 
It improves the accuracy by recalculating the piece weight automatically as parts are added. Regarding print settings, please refer to the manual for more information about this procedure. Percentage weighing is used to measure the weight of a sample displayed as a percentage of a pre-established reference weight. The default or last reference weight is displayed. Press the upper left corner of the screen and select Percent Weighing from the application menu. Place a weighing container on the pan and then press Tear if Auto Tear is not enabled. Place an object on the pan. The percentage between the sample and the reference weight is displayed as a percentage. If you need to change the reference weight, click on the Item Setting button, then Recalculate Reference Weight. The weight of the current object will be on the screen. If you wish to use this as the reference weight, click on the Accept button. Alternatively, you can forego placing an object on the pan or place an empty weighing container on the pan to tear and press the Item Settings button, the Recalculate Reference Weight, then press Reference Weight in the lower left corner. From there, you can manually type in the reference weight from the keypad. A name can be assigned to the sample by pressing the Sample Name button on the bottom of the display. Simply use the keypad to type the assigned name and press Save when finished. You will now see the new sample name in the reference field. If you have a USB flash drive connected to the front port of the balance, a Save to USB button will appear, allowing you to save the measurement to the drive. The Check Weighing application is used to compare the weight of a sample against target limits. Press the upper left corner of the screen and select Checked Weighing from the application menu. The last check weight limits will appear on the screen below the active weight display. The Under Accept Over status will appear in the progress bar area while the displayed weight is updated. To set the over limit value, Press the Over Limit button and enter the value on the keypad. When finished, press the Save button and the display will return to the Check Weighing home screen. To set the Under Limit value, simply do the same at the Over Limit value. To set the Over Limit value, simply do the same at the Over Limit value. Just press the Under Limit button to begin. Place your object on the pan. If the weight is underweight, the under box will turn yellow. If the weight is within the limits, the accept box will turn green. If over, the over box will turn red. Display hold allows the user to capture and store either a stable weight or can be set to capture and store the highest stable weight. Press the upper left corner of the screen and press the display hold button to select. Now press the Item Settings button, then the Mode button. There are two options to choose from, Peak Hold and Display Hold. For this demo, we'll start with Display Hold. Press Exit after selecting. If needed, place a weighing container on the pan and press Tear if Auto Tear is not enabled. Place a sample in the weighing container then press the hold button after the weight is captured. The main display line will now show the first stable weight. The top line will read, stable weight is currently being held. As long as the weight is being held, the value will not change. If you look at the gross line in the reference field, you will still be able to read what the current weight is on the pan. To remove the hold, press cancel. If you press the Item Settings button again, then Mode, you can select Peak Hold. Press Exit to the return to the home screen. Now place a sample on the pan, then press Start to begin. The top display line will read, Stable weight is currently being held. As you continue to weigh samples, the highest stable weight will remain on the display. Like the display hold, the gross line in the reference field will display the current weight on the pan while the peak hold weight is held. You can stop the hold at any time by pressing the stop button. 
Totalization measures the cumulative weight of a sequence of items. The cumulative total may exceed the capacity of the balance, but the maximum number of samples is 99. Press the upper left corner of the display, press the More button in the lower right corner, then the Totalization button. Place the weighing container on the pan and press the Tear button if the balance isn't set to Auto Tear. Place your sample on the pan and the weight will appear in the main display line. Press the Accumulate button to start adding weight to the total. Remove the sample from the pan, replace it with another weighing container, and tear the balance. Now add the next sample to the weighing container. Again, press the Accumulate button to continue adding weight to the total. If you look at the reference line, you will see the current weight of the sample on the pan, the number of samples taken, and the total amount of weight. Let's add one more sample weight to the total. If you push the Result button, you will also see a list of various data including average weight, minimum weight, maximum weight, total, etc. If you wish, you can push the Save to USB button to save the data. When you push the Exit button, you can resume weighing samples. When finished, press the Clear Total button to zero out the total. Formulation is an application used for compounding and recipe making. The maximum number of components is 50. Press the upper left corner of the display, press the More button in the lower right corner, then the Formulation button. Press the Start button to begin the compounding process. Place a weighing container on the pan, and then press the Tear button if Auto Tear is not enabled. Place the first ingredient on the pan or in a teared container and press Accept to store the component. Continue adding components and press Accept to store the weight of the individual components until the formula is complete. The total line shows the total weight of all the components. Press Stop to finish the formulation. The formulation result will then be displayed. Like the other apps, you can plug a USB drive in the front port and save the results. When you start a new formulation, the last formulation results will be cleared. If you press the Item Settings button, you will see the Filler button. The Filler option, if turned on, will ask to add a filler material to complete the formulation. Simply add the filler material and press Accept to complete the formulation and display the results. If the automatic mode is turned on, it will automatically tear the component weight as it has been accepted. I hope this video has been helpful. However, if there is anything that you still do not understand or you need help with another issue, I encourage you to call or email Healthcare Logistics. Our friendly staff will be more than happy to assist you with whatever needs you may have. Thanks for watching.